What's going on guys? It's finally time to fix my Jeep. A brief introduction to my Jeep for those of you who do not know. So this is my 2005 Jeep WK Grand Cherokee. I've had this for about four years now. So I did buy it completely stock. I put a mild lift kit on it, new struts all around. Uh, I then modified the lift kit in the rear to raise it a little bit more. Started out with, I think, 32 inch tires and these are right around 34 inch tires. I built a full exhaust for it, of course. Uh, the engine is stock otherwise. I did build a full roof rack for it and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but otherwise, pretty stock. It's been a great vehicle all around. It does really well in the snow, which is one of the main reasons I have it. And it does have a tow package, so I can tow things I have towed cars with it before and it does pretty well uh, it has just the uh, 4.7 liter v8 uh, nothing too crazy but it does good enough for what it is so that's a little background so now i'll get to what we're really doing which is going to be fixing it so as you can see as i come around here it was involved in an accident uh, so it was actually parked on the side of a road and it was hit by someone going about 70 miles an hour. So you can see um, the body got pretty crunched here in the back. Uh, so the hatch is like completely ruined, definitely needs replaced. Uh, one of the main things is actually if you look here, you can see how the wheel is completely cockeyed. Um, I'll try to get a view from the top, see how it's kind of angled in. Uh, so the rear axle is actually bent. So I will need to source a, a new replacement rear axle for it. Um, that's one of the big things that's wrong outside of, of course, obviously the body is um, in pretty bad shape in the rear here, but it actually didn't break any glass. So the rear window is still intact and I can actually open and shut all the doors. This is probably the worst one. You can see right here, the paint's chipping off because of how, how tight it is, but I can open it and it does shut. So that's pretty good. And all the other doors, some are a little bit tight, but they all function. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll come around to the front. I believe, I don't know exactly what happened, but I think the front came around and hit a guardrail. Uh, so the bumper was kind of just hanging on. I just kind of put it back up in place, but it's uh, a lot of the mounts are broken uh, under here, but it's still, it's still there for the most part. So the other thing is my uh, tie rod did snap uh, you can't really see it, but it's just flopping around under there. So I do need to replace the tie rod. Obviously new, need a new rear bumper, rear hatch, and I need to do something about this quarter panel. Obviously a tail light. <laughs> and so the hatch opens surprisingly. It doesn't really shut the whole way. But as you can see inside here, um, how much that crunched the, uh, the kind of inside. So all this plastic broke. Uh, the hatch, like I said, kind of shuts. Not really. So looking underneath, this little, uh, this rock slider thing here, that got bent over pretty good. But I'm thinking I might be able to just like pull that out uh, with some type of a come along or something. I did look at all the points of where the uh, rear axle mounts to the frame and they all look pretty solid. So I think I'm in pretty good shape there. I did build this uh, roof rack for it a couple years ago and in the accident it actually got ripped off the top of the Jeep and actually nothing I built broke. As you can see this is actually the Jeep uh, cross rail uh, actually detached from I guess you call it the side rails. So my rack is still attached to the cross rails uh, but that part that connection is what broke and actually came off in the accident and was laying upside down. And it actually was pretty much fine except for this broken piece because I actually had this big uh, 35 inch spare on it. So that piece, a couple of those boards broke uh, when it hit the ground and it was otherwise okay. And then when I finally got it back the, from the junkyard, this whole front end was uh, bent up. 
I guess they drove over it with something or dragged it across, who knows. Uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Probably rebuild it in some fashion. I might be able to pull out some of those bends. We'll see, but that's not a main concern right now. My plan with this thing is gonna be getting it fully functional mechanically as far as the rear axle and also you know the front tie rod get the steering figured out just make sure that it, it can run and drive the jeep can start up it actually starts up pretty well i have to charge it every time i think the battery is a little bit fried from sitting but it does start up and i can put it in drive i've got a bunch of warning lights <laughs> but i can put it in drive and move it it gets a little difficult because that that front left uh, wheel uh, just wants to go all over the place because it is all-wheel drive So once you put power to that front wheel, it just kind of like turns because uh, that tie rods broken so it's kind of hard to move but I think once I can get it over onto the lift and uh, Start working on it. I'll be fine So like I said, I'm gonna focus on getting it driving properly first and then I will move on to all these body issues I really don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet there, but uh, I haven't done much extensive body work, so it's gonna be a uh, learning curve. Uh, my goal isn't to make this thing back to like perfect condition. It is just kind of like my off-road winter vehicle. Um, so I just wanna get it back to the point where it can uh, do those things well. I was never concerned about this thing being perfect. I take it through trails uh, in the woods there's plenty of scratches and, and dents on it. So that is the, the new Jeep project. So next time I will be starting to work on that rear axle and uh, getting this thing driving the way it should.